fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I am Silver. Hooray! The engineer and fireman of the three-car train leaned out the cab windows of the engine and watched the tracks ahead as the train popped along through a valley a few miles from the town of Oakton. We'll soon be in Oakton, Jack. Yeah, and I'll be glad to get rid of that money shipment in the express car. We put that off at Oakton. I know. No need to go worrying about that, though. I... Hey, look. Something on the tracks ahead. Holy mackerel, it's a pile of logs. Put on the brakes, quick. If we hit that, we'll be wrecked. Gosh, Hank, do you think it means we're going to be held up? There's your answer. Coming from behind the boulder. Several masked outlaws. Don't try to fight them. They'll shoot to kill. Whoa, whoa there, whoa. Go to your cupboards, so don't make a move. Great day, a woman leader. A couple of you hombres get to the express car. The others watch the passenger cars to make sure nobody interferes. Come on, man. Get them, It is easy, Liz. The express car door is open. They're giving out the money bags. They better if they know what's good for them. See. Hurry up there, boys. Let's go, Liz. We got the money. All right. Come on. Get up there. Come on, get up there. A short time later, the outlaw gang, having taken off their masks, rode a trail that led away from the railroad into the hills. You think it's safe to ride this slow, Liz? Sure, Jake. We followed that shallow creek far enough to throw anybody off our trail. <laughs> I told you it'd be easy, didn't I, boys? You're always right, Liz. We would take much money from the express car, no? We sure did, Carlos. Must be all at $10,000. Hey, caramba, that's good. Now it is time you will go into Mexico and marry Carlos, no? No. Huh? The wedding bells and that beautiful hacienda in Mexico you keep talking about can wait, Carlos. But you have said that only once more we do a job and then you will be finished with the gang. <laughs> oh, hold your horses. I heard about another job we can pull in a few days that'll really set us up for life. Yeah, hey, what's that, Liz? But Liz, you have said just one more And that's job. what I'm saying now, Carlos. 
I took over this gang after my brother Red got caught and hanged. Red always said all women were good for was housework. But I often told him if I had this gang, I'd do a darn sight better than he could. Yeah, you sure have too, Liz. See, but of course, with Red, we were always, what do you say, broke. But now we have plenty of money, no? Yeah, and after the next job, yeah, we'll have a lot more. Enough so we can sit back and take it easy. What is this job you speak about? A payroll that comes into Red Rock by stage every two weeks. It's due in day after tomorrow. But we're going to grab it, Savvy. Three of us can handle that job, Carlos. You, Jake, and me. How is it, Liz, that you'll find out such things? <laughs> You've seen me dressed up respectable-like and leave our hideout to ride into some town or other, haven't you? See, I have noticed it. Well, I just shop around in the stores and keep my ears open. Most men are too stupid to think a woman is listening to their yapping. <laughs> and they yap plenty. <laughs> so that's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. So day after tomorrow, we'll get that payroll off the stage and be a lot richer than we are right now. Get up there! Let's get it coming up. Three days later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode the trail outside of Red Rock. We won't go too close to town, Tonto. We look for a place to camp now? Oh, might as well. Now, me remember their creek round bend and trail. When we get there, we find place. Things happening beyond the bend. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Urging their horses into a fast gallop, the Lone Ranger and Tonto soon reached the bend. A moment later, they had a clear view up the trail. Look, Kimasabi. Three outlaws. Hold up stage. Yes, use your guns. I'm leaving fast. Yes, they're separated. I'll go after the one to the right. Try to get one of the others. And one to the left. Leading Tonto to follow one of the other fleeing outlaws, the Lone Ranger swerved to the right off the trail in pursuit of the closest one, who, turning in the saddle, fired at the masked man behind him. One silver! Nice to big fella! The great stallion Silver responded to his master's urgent cry and gradually began to close the gap between the outlaw and his pursuer. Once more, the outlaw turned and pointed his gun, but no shots were heard. His gun is empty. Come Silver! Silver's hoof seemed to fly over the plain, and within a few minutes, the big white stallion was almost alongside the rider in front. You can't get away! Taking his lariat, the Lone Ranger whirled it over his head. Then the supple rope flashed forward and settled snake-like over the outlaw's shoulders, and Silver instinctively slid to a halt, pulling the outlaw from the saddle. No! Easy, Silver! Hit it! Oh, please, Senor! My shoulder, she's hurt by the fall. Don't shoot me. Stop your whining. The law will take care of you. The law? But you also are an outlaw, no? No. I'll tie you with my lariat. Oh, Give me that other hand. Oh, no. Cross it over here. Uh, see. Just not. Uh, there. That'll hold you for a while. Oh, it's gone. Oh, hold on. Oh, on. Other outlaw, get me. Well, we have one at least. I need chase one who ride Palomino. Outlaws half fall back from head. Me see hair. It's like woman. Uh, never anybody catch Liz on that horse, senor. Liz? Tato, he must mean Liz Huntley. It's been rumored that she took over the Red Huntley's gang. Isn't that right? She, she's much smart, senorita. <laughs> Perhaps she must, senor, does not like talking down a woman, huh? <laughs> an outlaw is an outlaw. I've heard Liz Huntley is more ruthless than her brother was. Tato, I've thought of a plan. We'll take this outlaw with us and go pitch camp. Later, you can take him to the sheriff in Red Rock. All right, help me tie him on his horse, then we'll get going. The Lone Ranger and Tonto took the outlaw Carlos with them into the hills where they selected a campsite. After they were settled, the Lone Ranger spent more than an hour working on a disguise. Now, Tonto, tell me what you think of my disguise. Mm, that good, Kimasabi. You look like outlaw Carlos. I want to look exactly like him, if possible. A little more berry dye might help. More up a little higher here. Uh, there. Now, uh, how's that? Oh, much better. You not talk, me not know which one Carlos. But I must talk like him also, no? <laughs> oh, that fool anyone. <laughs> Good. Now, with his clothes, I ought to be able to fool Liz Huntley. Uh, you find Huntley gang and make him think you're Carlos? Yes. I'll let you keep Carlos here in the camp instead of taking him to the sheriff. When I come back, it'll be time enough to take him in. Well, how are you fine, gang? I'll uh, go back to the place where the stage was held up. Then I'll try to trail one of the other two outlaws to their hideout. Now I'll go give Carlos some old clothes and take his. 
After taking the outlaw's clothes, the Lone Ranger might have been Carlos himself. At first, he thought of riding Carlos's horse, but decided against it and left the camp riding silver and wearing his own expensive guns. Once he arrived at the place where the stage had been held up, it wasn't too difficult to find the trail left by Liz and Jake. Sometime later, after the sun had set and the twilight shadows covered the trail, the masked man approached a place where the tracks he was following went between two large rocks. It was well up in the hills, and he rode cautiously. Hmm. Those big boulders up ahead would be the logical place for a lookout if their camp is nearby. Even as the Lone Ranger spoke the thought, a shot rang out from behind the boulder ahead and to the left. He immediately pulled to a halt. Oh, oh, boy. oh easy. You up there! Are you so blind you don't recognize Carlos? Got away. Oh, but of course, amigo. It was that stallion that made me shoot at you. Oh, so you notice him, eh? How could I miss? Seems like that's the white stallion that mask hombre was riding that chased you after the stage hole up today. Yeah, you were right, my friar. It's easy, same horse. Caramba, that mask hombre will not chase Carlos the second time, no? <laughs> <laughs> so you got the best of him and took his stallion away from him, huh? Oh, by thunder, you took his guns, too, I reckon. See. Si. These are the same guns the mask man had. Ah, oh, but come, we are wasting time. No, I am anxious to talk to Liz. Yeah, I know. Liz is wondering what happened to you. Well, come on, let's go to the camp. Get up there, come on. Come on. A few minutes later, the Lone Ranger, disguised as the outlaw Carlos, pulled rein in front of one of two cabins that were well hidden in the hills. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, sure be glad to see you, Carlos. Oh, but of course. Come on in. Hey, look who's here, Liz. Carlos, well, I'll be doggone. See, see, you are much surprised, no? I sure am. Uh, we were positive that masked hombre shot you down or something, especially since one of the men figured out who he might be. Oh, you have an idea who this masked hombre is, huh? Yeah, you didn't tell me, Liz. Wait a minute, Jake. Carlos, where did you get those fancy guns? Well, from the mask hombre. <laughs> what else, senorita? Yeah, Carlos even got the white stallion the mask hombre was riding. I can't believe it. Carlos, I always figured you were a tough hombre, but not that tough. <laughs> oh, maybe someday you get to know Carlos better, Liz. Yeah. Yeah, maybe so, Carlos. Hey, Liz, you didn't say who you thought that mask hombre was. The one who owned the white stallion and those guns Carlos is carrying. Oh, well, Joe was telling me from the description I gave him, he feels positive it was an hombre known as the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Caramba! I hear of him also. Yeah, so have I, Carlos. I've heard plenty about him. And from all I've heard, it still don't seem possible you could get the best of him. But seeing is believing, senorita. Have I not brought back his horse and his guns? Yep, you sure have. But what happened to your own horse? Oh, oh. perhaps I tied that hombre to my horse and sent him galloping off into the plain, no? <laughs> perhaps he will be found. And then again, perhaps not. Carlos, you sure are tougher than I gave you credit for. Yeah, that's just the way I'm thinking, Jake. Carlos has not had to get so tough before, perhaps. Maybe not. Say, Carlos, are you still thinking about that hacienda? Hacienda? Never mind, I reckon you forgot about it. Oh, see, si, senorita. Carlos is most forgetful at times, no? Go on next door to the other cabin and rest a bit. You must be tired. See, si, that is a good idea. I think uh, I shall see you later, no? Wait, Jake, I want to talk to you a minute. Oh, sure, Liz. I'll see you shortly, Carlos. But of course, amigo. Yeah, what is it, Liz? Just this, Jake. I'm not sure, but I got a sneaking suspicion that that hombre isn't really Carlos at all. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank <laughs> you.
Now to continue our story. After the Lone Ranger, who was posing as Carlos, left Liz Huntley's cabin, Liz told Jake, the other outlaw, that she suspected it was not really Carlos who had come back. For a moment, Jake looked bewildered. Then he spoke. What do you mean, Liz, by saying you suspect he isn't Carlos? I reckon it does sound crazy, Jake. He looks like Carlos, he talks like Carlos. But he doesn't act like Carlos at all. Oh, he's bragging just because you got the best of that mask, man. That's all, Liz. You're not used to having a Mac big in front of you. Yeah, maybe you're right. But one thing I have got used to is having Carlos dig at me day after day every time we're together. About us being married and having a hacienda in Mexico. Yeah, I know. But when I mentioned it to him just now, did you notice how puzzled he looked? The way he answered? As if he didn't know what I was talking about. Say, come to think of it, he did act funny. Like it was something he never heard of before. Yeah, that's what I mean. And what's more Carlos's story, if he is Carlos, but that Lone Ranger don't ring true. Why, even my brother Red wouldn't buck up against that masked hombre. If this Mexican comes riding here on the white stallion and bringing those fancy guns. But how can it be anyone else, Liz? I don't know. But I want you to watch him. And also see what the others think about him. Now get over to your own cabin. Later that evening, Jake returned to Liz Huntley's cabin to discuss certain facts he had found out. Come in. Hey, Liz. Liz, you're right. There is something funny about Carlos. I mean, about the hombre we think is Carlos. Go on, what'd you find out? Well, he was too friendly with Joe. You know Carlos hated Joe. Wanted you to kick him out of the gang only a week ago. Mm, that's mighty interesting. What else? Well, you know how Les was always kidding Carlos about getting married. Mm. And how Carlos always gave him a song, a song and dance about you and a Mexican hacienda. Yeah, what about it? Well, Les started the same kidding. Asking him when he was going to get married. And he answered there was lots of time. That he'd have to find the right woman first. I see. Look, Jake, you're the best of the gang for trailing somebody. Well, what's that got to do with it? Just this. I want you to take your horse and back trail on that hombre's trail. To see what you can find out. I'll see that he stays here till you get back. Hey, look, Liz. If that hombre in the other cabin isn't Carlos, then who could he be? Could be his twin brother, Jake. Or then again, he could be the hombre we were talking about, the Lone Ranger. Now get going and hurry back. Getting his horse, Jake left the outlaw's camp quietly and followed the trail the Lone Ranger had made on his way there. The hoof marks left by Silver were easy to spot. A couple of hours later, Jake approached the camp where Tonto waited with the outlaw Carlos, who was securely tied. Jake spied the campfire, and leaving his horse a short distance away, went cautiously toward the camp on foot. Tonto had taken a bucket and had gone a few hundred yards away to the creek for water. Jake first saw Carlos's horse. Then he saw Carlos tied up and propped against a tree. With gun in hand, Jake moved quickly to Carlos's side. Caramba! Jake! Quiet. Who's going? An Indian. He's gone for water. Untie me quick. I'll cut those cords on that. Let's see. There. Now your feet. <coughs> That's it. Yeah, Liz was right. I can't believe it. The masked man, he's made to look and talk like me. He's hunt for the gang. Yeah, he found us. He's at the camp now. Liz got suspicious. Yeah, I'll get your horse. Hurry, amigo. All right, Carlos, mount quick. That other horse is making too much noise. See? Ay, caramba, my legs are stiff. Come on, my horse is right over here. Come on, horse, let's go. Yeah, here he is. All right, let's get back to the camp. Get up there, come on. Get the caballo. Meantime, down at the creek, Tonto had just dipped the bucket in the water when he heard Scout whinny. That Scout? Him give warning. Maybe somebody coming. Me hurry back to camp. Moving quickly, Tonto went up the bank and walked toward the camp where he left Carlos. Uh, I'll, I'll get way. That mean lone ranger in plenty danger. Me follow him. Get him up, Scout. Meantime, the sheriff from town with a posse had gone to the place where the stage holdup had occurred in hopes of being able to trail the outlaws. At first, they had picked up the trail, but had lost it after crossing a creek. 
Much time had been lost trying to find the tracks again, until finally they drew rein in the bright moonlight. Look there, men. I'm sure that's the tracks we were trying to find again. Yeah, I think you're right, Sheriff. There are the hoof marks of three horses. And that's how many outlaws we were told held up that stage. Yeah. Remember the stage driver said something about a couple of other owl hoots that shot at the hold-up gang and then followed after them. Yeah, and that don't make sense. I wonder who they were. It could have been a couple of the same gang who got left out of the deal and got mad about it. Anyway, we haven't got time to sit here and figure that out now. We better get started if we hope to get that gang and get back here by town by morning. That's right. right. All right, then, Sheriff. Let's go. Come on, man. And this time, let's try not to lose sight of them tracks. Get up there. Get up there. It was close to midnight by the time Jake and Carlos arrived at the outlaw camp, and a bright moon was shining. No use letting him know you're here and put him on his guard. We'll talk to Liz first to see. All right, come on. You were right, Liz. Here's Carlos. Carlos? Then that masked man did get you. See, si. is the plenty tough one, querida? He's make up like Carlos, and it's hard to believe he's not me, myself. Yeah, I know. And the one who came here is that masked man, huh? See, si, that's right. And he's taking my gun away. Here, take one of mine. Oh, gracias. Carlos, get behind the door. You, Jake, go to the other cabin and bring that hombre here. Don't let on you don't think he's Carlos, savvy? Yeah, I'll bring him right back, Liz. Now, Carlos, so that masked man thinks he can outsmart Liz Huntley... Well, we'll wait and see what he has to say for himself. A few minutes later, Jake returned with the Lone Ranger, who was still posing as Carlos. What is it we are to discuss, amigo? Hey, you find out from Liz, Carlos. Hey. All right, all right. Well, Carlos, my friend, did you have some sleep? Oh, but of course, senorita. Now I've come for the talk you want, no? You know, you're not as smart as you think you are. Oh, Carlos did not savvy what you mean. Si, senor, Carlos does savvy. Rich, senor. <laughs> yeah, you can reach like Carlos tells you. You should have looked behind you when Jake closed the door. I got you covered, too. I heard you were a clever woman, Liz Huntley. Hey, he's not talking like Carlos now. Why should he? He knows the game's up. Maybe. Go get the others and bring them here, Jake. I want them to see what happens to anyone who tries to pull a fast one on Liz Huntley. All right, Liz. Holster your own gun, Carlos. Then go up behind him and take his while I keep him covered. If he moves his hands even an inch, I'll plug him. And be careful. See, si, querida. I put my gun away so... And now I will take his from him. The Lone Ranger realized that once they had disarmed him, Liz and the outlaws would not hesitate to kill him. As Carlos reached out to take the Lone Ranger's guns, Liz Huntley's eyes were watching his upraised hands and momentarily missed seeing the sudden backward swing of the Lone Ranger's boot against Carlos's shin. At the same time, the Lone Ranger flung himself to one side just as Liz reacted to Carlos's yell and pulled the trigger. Oh, my shoulder, I'm shot! I'll hit him this time. No, you won't. Oh, my hand! You won't use that gun again. All right, you. Get over there beside Liz. Oh, si, si, senor. I'll take your gun. Also the one Liz dropped. You won't get away with it. The others will be here in a minute. Hey, caramba, something's going wrong outside. But somebody must have followed you here. Followed you. Wait, you me. Hello. You all right? Yes. What's happened? Well, fella come from this cabin. Me hit him on head. Then me hear shooting in here. Fellas run from other cabin, then posse come and catch him. Don't move any of you. This cabin is surrounded. Sheriff, what brought you here? We picked up the trail at the place where the stage was held up today. Lost it a while, but finally found it again and got to this place just as the shooting started. <laughs> Fighting amongst yourselves, huh? <laughs> Not exactly. Hey, Sheriff, look at them two. They look exactly alike. Oh, great days. So they do. Say... You must be twins. So he is fool even the sheriff, huh? That one talks different. Oh, you make big mistakes, sheriff. This one not outlaw, and me not outlaw. Him catch outlaw. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they all say when they get cornered. Uh, maybe this will mean something to you, sheriff. Huh? A bullet. A silver bullet. Say, 
Is that big white stallion outside yours, mister? Yes. His name is Silver. Well, I'll be jiggered. I don't get this. Is your name Tonto Indian? That's right. Now I know who you are, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry I figured you out for an outlaw. Forget it, Sheriff. But that... that well, the way you look just like the other one there. <laughs> I heard he did things like that. Usually wears a black mask, don't you? That's right. I'll put it on now to avoid any more confusion. There. Do you have enough men to handle these crooks, Sheriff? Yep, we got the other three outside. Who's the woman? The notorious Liz Huntley. Liz, Liz Huntley? Well, what do you know? She's a dangerous woman, Sheriff, and tricky. Don't worry. We'll watch out for her. Come on, fellow. Adios. 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 Oh. Alas, perhaps now we don't have the hacienda in Mexico for a long time, mi querida. Ah, oh, shut up. Uh, Even if I could, I wouldn't marry up with you now. I've seen enough faces like yours around to last me a lifetime. But that I don't understand. This hombre who is make up to look like me, who is talk like me. Who is he to be so clever? Don't be a fool, Carlos. You ought to know by now no hombre could have done that and got away with it. Except the one who's known as the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? This is a feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, created and produced by George W. Trendle, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and edited by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Brace Beamer.